Hi, welcome to ABMBBS. Today's topic is WHO or World Health Organization. In this video, we will discuss the main topics in the chapter International Health in the PARP textbook of Community Medicine. Now, to understand the origins of WHO, we need to first understand the concept of quarantine. In the 14th century Europe, people were terrified of plague. So, ships suspected of harboring infection were detained at port for a period of 40 days before they could enter the city. The idea was that with the passage of time, the underlying infection would either manifest into full-blown disease or die out, thus protecting the citizens. This was called quarantine, but there was no uniformity in the quarantine measures in the different parts of the world. So in 1851, an international sanitary conference was convened at Paris to bring about some order and uniformity, but it failed. In 1902, a Pan-American Sanitary Bureau was set up to bring uniformity in the quarantine measures in the American states. It was the world's first international health agency. It was later renamed Pan-American Health Organization in 1958. Its headquarters is in Washington DC. Next. After the First World War, the health wing of the League of Nations was set up in 1923. Then there was the Second World War, following which the United Nations was set up. The WHO was one of the many parts of the United Nations. So in April 1945, a conference was held in San Francisco, in which Brazil and China proposed that an international health organization should be established. So on 7th April 1948, the WHO formally came into existence and this day is celebrated as World Health Day. A World Health Day theme is chosen every year to focus attention on a specific aspect of public health for that year. For example, in 2015 it was food safety, in 2016 it was diabetes and in 2017 it is depression. The objectives of the WHO. It is attainment of highest levels of health by all people. It is a part of but not subordinate to the UN. It has its own constitution, own governing body and budget. Switzerland is a part of WHO but not UN. Next we come to the works of WHO. It helps in prevention and control of specific diseases like smallpox and now polio. It helps in the development of health services improvement of family health, improvement of environmental health, maintenance of health statistics like the International Classification of Diseases or ICD which is updated every 10 years, promotion of biomedical research, maintenance of health literature and cooperation with other global organizations. Next, we come to the structure of the WHO. The WHO has mainly three organs. The World Health Assembly, the Executive Board and the Secretariat. The World Health Assembly is the supreme governing body. It is also called Health Parliament. It meets annually, usually in May, in Geneva. The executive board consists of 34 members of which one third are renewed annually. It meets 
twice a year in January and in May. It gives effect to the decisions of the assembly, but it can also take action in itself in case of emergency. The secretariat is headed by the director general and it provides technical and managerial support to member states. The WHO is divided into six regions, each headed by a regional director. As you can see in the table, the headquarter of the Southeast Asia region is New Delhi. This brings us to the end of the topic. Now just for the sake of completion, we will discuss some other important world organizations. First comes UNICEF. It stood for United Nations International Children's Emergency Fund. It was set up to deal with the rehabilitation of children in war ravaged countries. In 1953, it was renamed United Nations Children's Fund. Its headquarters is in New York. The UNICEF is actively promoting the Gobi campaign now. G for growth chart. O for ORS, B for breastfeeding and I for immunization. Next is the UNDP which stands for United Nations Development Program. There's the UNFPA which stands for United Nations Fund for Population Activities. There's the FAO or Food and Agricultural Organization. Its headquarter is in Rome. There is the ILO or the International Labour Organization. Its headquarter is in Geneva. Finally, there is the World Bank. It is governed by a board of governors and it gives loan for projects that lead to economic growth of the country. There is the Colombo plan under which Ames Delhi was established. Guess what? Which country gave financial assistance for the project? It was New Zealand. There is the SIDA or Swedish International Development Agency which assisted the national TB control program. There is the Danida from Denmark providing assistance for National Blindness Control Program, the Rockefeller Foundation under which the All India Institute of Hygiene and Public Health was set up in Kolkata. There is the CARE Foundation which provides food for 6 to 11 year old children in India. Finally, we come to the story of the International Red Cross Society. There was once a young Swiss businessman named Henry Dunant who while passing through North Italy came across the Battle of Solferino. Seeing the plight of the wounded soldiers, he recruited some local volunteers and helped them. He later wrote a book named Un Souvenir de Solferin in which he propagated the idea that in time of war the wounded should be given help irrespective of nationality. Dunant's plea was accepted and the International Red Cross Society was set up with its headquarters in Geneva. This brings us to the end of this video. You can also watch the other videos in this channel. The link is available right here. Guys, thank you for watching this video. Please do not forget to like, share and subscribe if you like our work. We believe that medical education should be fun and free for everyone. Bye bye and happy learning.